So over the past few months, Google has quietly been rolling out these incredible free AI tools, but most people have no idea they even exist. Today, I'm walking you through seven of the best ones that are out right now, including some brand new features that just dropped. And the best part is all of them are completely free to use. Now, before we get started, I want to show you this. I'm here inside my Gemini account. If you look on the top right here for this account, it says upgrade, which means that I am on the free plan, because if I click on this, you'll see that it is asking me to pay $20 a month to get on the Google AI pro plan. So the reason I'm showing you this is to prove that everything I'm doing here is 100% free. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and look at the first free tool, which is called Opal. You can access this by coming to opal.google. That's all you need. You don't need the rest of it. And you should land on a page that looks like this. Now, Opal lets you build apps using nothing but plain English. So you just describe what you want to create and it builds the entire app for you automatically, completely for free. It's pretty wild. So there are a few examples down here, which we'll get to in a minute, but let me show you what one of these look like. So I'm going to open up this one that I've already created and you'll notice this pretty elaborate workflow right here in this canvas. Now, this seems maybe a little bit complex and overwhelming, but actually you don't have to worry about this because all this is generated for you automatically. So let's go ahead and start one from scratch. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click on create new. Now that entire workflow I just showed you, you can build out by clicking on all these building blocks right here. But again, I'm actually just going to delete all of these and we're going to use this text box down at the bottom because this is all that you need. You just describe what you want it to build and it will just build it for you. So for instance, build a meal prepping app that lets me put in how many people I need on the meal plan and any dietary restrictions. That is all I'm going to tell it. I'm going to click on submit and we'll give it just a few seconds and see what it does. All right, so I did pause the video obviously, but that took about 20 seconds to generate this. So this, all these steps right here are what you can create manually using these different steps, but obviously you don't have to do it because it's building it out for you. And this is the workflow that this app goes through when it is being used. So over here on the left, these yellow ones are the user inputs. So the user inputs will be the number of people and the dietary restrictions. But if I wanted to manually add any, like I can add another one here that says number of meals per week. And then I can just go ahead and drag this in just like that. And then this step right here is called the generate step. And this is where the AI is actually going to get to work. You can see over here, it gives you the exact prompt that the, that the app is going to use. And up here, it'll tell you the exact model that it's going to use as well. So this will actually use Gemini's models in here, but you could change this. Like if you wanted to make an image generator, you could actually have it use nano banana instead, or even videos as well. So finally, after that, it's going to have an output, which is right here. That's what this step is. And again, you could add any of these steps as you go along. So to actually test this out, we can go ahead and click on start and you can see we can actually answer all these questions. So it's going to go through all of these user inputs. So this is for two people and anyone has a dietary restriction, pescatarian for both number of meals per week. So let's do 10 meals. And now the AI is actually working on the meal plan. And then finally, here are the results right here with an entire meal plan for the week. And the best part about this app is you can actually share this. So up here on the top right, I can click on share app and I can go ahead and publish it, get a link and share this with anyone and they'll be able to use the app as well. And coming back here to the homepage for Opal, you can see that there are just a ton of different ways that you can use this. Here's an app that gives you book recommendations, blog post writer, fashion help, generate playlists, Google calendar help, social media posts. So just really the possibilities are endless. You just got to use your creativity and tell it exactly what you want. So the second tool I want to show you is inside of Google's AI studio. You can access this by coming to aistudio.google.com. Now, if you're not familiar with this, it's basically Google's entire suite of AI tools all in one place. It, I think was really designed more for developers. So it may not be as user-friendly as Gemini's, but still very easy to use. And they just added this new build feature right here. So if we click on this, this lets you vibe code entire apps for free. And honestly, this may have just killed every other paid AI app builder out there. So again, just kind of like with the last one, you can just describe in here exactly what you want it to build. Here are some examples down here as well. So 
I can click on this one that says create conversational voice apps. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then I'll tell it, create a voice app that encourages people during a workout. And then I'll click on build. And here we can see the app is now finished. I'll go ahead and start my workout. All right, let's start the workout. Awesome, let's do this. What are we starting with today? You got this. I'm going for a long run. A long run, fantastic. Enjoy the mile. All right, so maybe not the best app in the world, but it is what I asked for. Now, if I was happy with this and liked it, I can just go ahead on the top right here and click on deploy app. And this is how you can actually deploy it to Google Cloud. So you're not gonna get a link like you would with Opal. So if you're more of just a casual user, you just wanna create fun apps or ones that are easy for you or your friends to use, you definitely wanna go with Opal. However, if you really want to build something out that you could potentially sell or monetize, then this is the way that you wanna go using Google's AI Studios build feature. All right, so tool number three is actually an update to Notebook LM. Now, if you've never used this before, just come on over to notebooklm.google.com. This is incredible for research. So you can see right here, I have all of these notebooks that I've created of different research topics. And let's go ahead and open up one of these. I'll open up my Japan travel guide because I'm planning a trip to Japan. And there's a lot of things that you probably are already familiar with if you've used Notebook LM. Like over here on the left, you can go ahead and add any sources that you want. So I've added multiple websites and multiple YouTube videos, and now you can actually chat with all of these resources. But one tip that most people don't know about is if you click right here, this will allow you to configure your notebook. So there is a default setting, but I'm gonna turn on custom and give it custom instructions for this notebook. So I can tell it, Put most of the emphasis on the YouTube video called 15 Tips for First Time Travelers to Japan and just use the other resources to support that main video. The goal is for the user to be able to plan a trip to Japan. So now if I click on save, these instructions will now be used when I interact with this notebook. So either when I'm chatting in here or using any of these resources on the right. Now. We've had audio overviews for a while in Notebook LM. The one I really wanna to showcase today is video overview. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. This will generate an explainer video presented to you by AI. So I'm gonna click on that. This usually takes a few minutes to generate, but then we can watch it together. All right, the video is ready. Let's go ahead and watch a few seconds of this so you know what Notebook LM is capable of making. Ah, Japan. You know, it's this incredible place where ancient temples and neon skyscrapers just exist together. It's a total dream destination, but let's be real. Plan to do things anymore. We're going to cut right through all that noise. So all of that was AI generated. It's super, super cool. I think for any type of research, if you want a really excellent free way to do it, Notebook LM, it has to be your go-to source. It just makes it so easy and actually fun to do research and put together material. All right, so tool number four is actually a collection of updates to Gemini itself. So if you're using Gemini, there are some really powerful new features that you need to know about. And if you're not using it yet, this may be a good reason to start using it. So I'm gonna come over here and show you this new Canvas feature. So I'm gonna click in here where it says tools and I'm going to click on Canvas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this document right here. This is a pretty boring looking business plan that I put together. All plain text, a lot of white space, very boring. But I'll go ahead and edit, and I'm just simply gonna tell Google to create a presentation out of this business plan. And when I go ahead and click on submit, you can see that it dissected the business plan, it is defining the scope of the work, it is planning the visuals for the presentation, and it's putting it all together. All right, so here is our presentation right here. So I can go ahead and click through it and see all of these slides. So it didn't just bring in the text, it also added images or different graphics as well. Everything really nicely laid out. If I wanted to make any changes to it, I could tell it just down here exactly what changes I want it to make. Now, if you're happy with this, you can go ahead and click where it says export to slides. That will then be exported to your Google Slides, so you can always save it and access it later. Now, like I said, there are a bunch of changes to Gemini, so let me point out a couple other ones that I think are really, really awesome. So if we click on the left here to expand the menu and click on settings, and then you wanna click on instructions for Gemini. So this will actually allow you to share info about your life and your preferences to get more helpful responses that are actually tailored for you. 
And so I can go ahead and click on add and tell it different ways that I like for it to communicate. So for instance, I can tell it avoid M dashes, be concise. I can even be funny and say something like, talk to me like a cowboy. And then every time I chat with Gemini, it's going to respond like it's a cowboy. Now that's a very silly example, of course, but you get the idea, right? You really wanna tailor this and give it the information that you want it to have to be able to help you as much as possible in either your personal life or your business life. So the fifth update I wanna to talk to you about is right here on this page underneath this video, underneath any YouTube video, you will now see this AI summary right here that details what the video is about. If you expand it, it will give you a little bit more information, although not very much. It just kinda of gives you a preview of what the video is about. So you can decide for yourself if you wanna watch the entire video. And hey, while you're down there looking at that summary, also check out this really cool looking thumbs up button. If you click it, it does this really satisfying, very cool animation that makes me very happy. So feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, also feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. Next tool number six is called Pameli, and this is brand new from Google Labs. What this does is it will actually analyze your website. Like this is my website right here. And all I'm going to do is copy down this URL I'm gonna come over to Pameli and it's going to ask me for the URL for my website. Now, I went ahead and plugged that in. It is now scanning it and analyzing my website. It is looking at the colors I've used, the font I've used, the name of my business, and it's pulling all of that into Pameli, which will then enable us to be able to use all of that brand DNA to actually build out social media posts for us in my tone of voice and with all of my branding. So here we can see all of that. It was able to bring it all in, find the right colors and tagline for my business. You can check this all over, change anything that you want, but once you're happy with it, go ahead and click on looks good. And then Pameli is going to auto create for you three different campaigns. So here's one right here called scale a six figure income part time. I can go ahead and click on that and you can see all of these assets that it auto generated for me using pictures from my website. And I can use any of these on my social media. If I need to make any changes to it, I can come in here and actually change any of it. Or what I can do is if I return back to campaigns, you can actually start a brand new campaign. So I can tell it, create a campaign that's a one day flash sale on my course. And then it's going to create a campaign just like these with different social media posts that I can then use to promote that flash sale. So if you're running a business and don't have time to make social media posts yourself, this is a really easy way to do it. They're not gonna be amazing looking, but they're good enough for a lot of different campaigns. For tool number seven, we are returning back to Google AI Studio, but this time we are clicking right here where it says audio, and we are going to take a look at Google's new text-to-speech audio model, because this thing is insanely powerful, and once again, completely free, even though there are other tools that charge you a lot of money to be able to access something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview, TTS. And here's a script builder where you can write out exactly what you want read out loud. So you'll notice that you can actually have multiple speakers here. So first we're gonna give it some instructions. I'm going to have it actually read out loud. The two speakers are arguing and I'm gonna go ahead and change the dialogue up. Once you're happy with the dialogue, you can go ahead and change the settings on the right. Like you can change what the different speakers sound like, but once you're happy with that, go ahead and click on run. All right, let's go ahead and give it a listen now that it's finished. Hey, that's my bike. Not anymore, it's mine now. But that's stealing. All right, awesome. So if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and click these three dots and actually download this and use this any way that you want. And what blows my mind about this is that there are other services charging you a monthly fee to be able to use something similar. This is completely free. And if you're not happy with the results, just click down here where it says run and you can run it again until you find results that you are happy with. So there you have it. Those are seven completely free Google AI tools that you need to be using right now. And again, all of them are completely free. Now, if you love free AI tools, then you absolutely have to check out this video right here, where I cover seven of my favorite free AI tools. Definitely give this a watch because if you like this video, you're gonna love this one. So click right here and I'll see you over there in just one second. Bye for now.